Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're reviewing Bifaco's new output module, the version 3. It's a complete redesign from the previous versions and features two TRS balanced line level outputs with a volume control, as well as a stereo headphone output with a separate volume pot and a switchable Q input so you can audition certain sounds before sending them into your output mix. The left input is normal to the right one, so even if your patch is mono, it'll come out of both outputs evenly. Every input has an LED for level monitoring, and the sound is crystal clear with no audible noise, hum or bleed. In the box you get a build guide, some stickers, two PCBs, a really nice 4HP aluminum panel, two Nerlys, the power cable, and all of the electronic and hardware components needed to complete the build. The larger PCB comes with a bunch of SMD ICs pre-soldered, which makes this a fairly quick and easy build. Just follow the printed instructions carefully and you should have no problem. As usual, I started with the low profile components, such as resistors and diodes, on the larger PCB. After placing them, I soldered them from above only having to turn the board over to clip the excess leads. Then I installed the capacitors. Moving on to the smaller PCB, I did the same. Resistors and diodes first. Then the IC socket, followed by the capacitors and the transistors. Next, I installed the headers that connect both boards together and snap the IC onto its socket. Install the power header. Then I place the hardware components on the smaller board without soldering them at first. Place the panel, finger tighten the nuts and push the LEDs through their holes on the panel before soldering everything in place. Make sure you have the LEDs correctly oriented. Finally, I placed the large TRS jacks on the larger board, attached both boards together, tightened the nuts for the TRS jacks and soldered them on. That's it, just push in the knobs, test the power connector for shorts and turn it on. Since this module doesn't really affect sound or generate modulation, to demo it I just made a nice monophonic patch with my little desktop modular and improvised a bit so you can hear how clean it sounds. I hope you enjoy my noodling. See you soon and stay noisy.